Hello everyone, welcome to Kama Jojo. Today, we're going to talk about how deer see colors. Deer have great night vision because they have many rods, an oval pupil that works like a camera lens, and a layer of tissue that reflects light. Under artificial light, the iridescent look of their eyes is caused by a tissue called the tapetum lucidum. They can see about a quarter as many colors as we can, though. Because of this, it's hard for them to tell colors apart during the day and when the wavelengths are long. Deer only have two different kinds of cone photopigments, while people have three. This means that they can only see a small range of colors. Because their eyes don't have the red cone photopigment, deer can't see long wavelength colors like red and orange. Even though deer can see these colors, they might not understand them the same way we do. Like some people, some deer have trouble telling the difference between red and green. They can only see short wavelength colors, like blue, and colors in the middle of the spectrum, like green. This means that deer can tell the difference between red and blue, but not between red, green, and orange. It looks like hunters would be just as successful if they wore green, red, or orange instead of blue. The second mystery is whether or not UV rays from your body can be seen by a deer. Deer don't have a natural UV filter in their eyes like people do. This filter stops about 99.99% .99 of UV light from getting to a person's eyes. This does the same thing that a pair of yellow shooting glasses would do by making details bigger. In exchange, though, they can't see colors with shorter wavelengths, especially those in the UV range. Because they don't have a UV filter, deer have better UV vision but can't see colors or details as well. This helps explain why deer often turn their heads from side to side when they see a hunter. UV is the last part of the light spectrum that we can see. Remember playing the game Roy GBIV in science class? It shows the range of colors that can be seen, from red to orange to yellow to green to blue to indigo to violet. Our eyes are most sensitive to wavelengths between 500 and 650 nanometers, so ultraviolet is outside of that range, the unit used to measure wavelength of electromagnetic radiation. To see ultraviolet light, your retina would have to be about 400 nanometers thick, which is way beyond what humans can see. Dr. Bradley Cohen of the University of Georgia has found that the white-tailed deer's eyes are most sensitive between 430 and 540 nanometers. This includes the invisible ultraviolet light as well as the blue and yellow light that we can see. Orange, green, yellow, brown, and red, which are longer and more in the middle of the visible color spectrum, are hard for deer to see. There are many different shades of gray and yellow in these colors. Their best vision is in the low wavelengths of the blue spectrum. When it's dark, it's easier for whitetails to see blues, which means they can easily find the UV light that your clothes reflect. When there are a lot of clouds in the sky, early in the morning, or late at night, all times when deer are most active, is when UV light is most noticeable. In terms of their senses, deer can see colors and see well during the day. If the pattern works for the room, the color of the fabric doesn't matter as much. Because of this, camouflage clothing is still a good idea. On the other hand, you shouldn't use light colors with patterns that repeat. Also, you shouldn't wear vinyl or plastic clothes because they reflect light like the glare from a gun barrel.